Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Uh, now I hope that you all have already seen the new brochure which has been introduced by GATE uh, for the GATE 2021 exam. So I'll be analyzing that particular uh, brochure to you and I'll be just explaining that in this particular video because there are a few new changes which have been made in the exam pattern. There are certainly some changes which are very important from the exam point of view and which are actually needed to be understood okay especially if you are planning to give gate 2021 exam right so i'll be addressing those changes uh, those points in this particular video so let's strictly go into the brochure and let's try to understand that what are these new changes which have been made right so uh, here is your uh, brochure over here you can see it's uh, for your gate 2021 and the organizing institute this year is your iit bombay as i have already mentioned in my previous video so that was just an announcement this is the complete brochure so everything will be given over here in detail so that's what we'll be uh, discussing in this particular video okay so now in the first uh, few pages itself they have given the highlights for the gate 2021 okay now the highlights the major highlights over here are given uh, the first point which was already mentioned uh, in the like in the announcement which they have made that the exam this year would be like it would be given in the six days rather than being held earlier in the four days okay so earlier the exam was conducted within the four days limit now the dates have been increased and now the exam will be conducted in six days okay now you know that the gate exam is actually computer based test so it will be like it was earlier and now there are two new subjects which have been introduced so these things i have already mentioned in my previous video where they have announced about it so it's not at all important for the chemistry student for from the chemistry point of view so we don't have to worry about that the next point is also uh, like that only earlier we were having 25 exams now we have 27 subjects for which gate is going to conduct exams so this is not going to be of our interest what you have to know is this point which is very important that the syllabi or the syllabus of all the subjects have been revised basically so syllabus the plural of the syllabus is syllabi so yeah the, for all the subjects it has been revised so it will also be revised for chemistry we'll understand that we'll see that uh, what is being revised and what are those things uh, later in this video let's go to the next point then the next point says that all the test papers of gate 2021 will be entirely objective type okay uh, pattern of the question may include now this is something which is important okay this is something which we have to address over here that earlier we were having multiple choice questions and numerical answer types question these were the two types of questions which we used to get in our gate exam now a new type of question is there that is multiple select question okay or mcq uh, remember mcqs are those type of question in which uh, you have multiple options like a b c d but there can be more than one answer correct okay there can be answer like one answer or two answer uh, there can be two or three answers that can be correct for this okay so i'll be talking about msq also at the at the later stage of this particular video let's go to the next point then uh, the next point says that one or two subjects uh, paper are allowed okay so that means that a particular student is allowed to give more than one exam uh, for the gate okay he is allowed to give more than one exams for a particular uh, gate exam okay so i'll be talking about that also and i'll be explaining that a chemistry student can give which other two exams uh, the next thing is that the eligibility criteria okay yeah, this point is very interesting because in the later video in the previous video basically where i have discussed that uh, now gate can be like gate exam can be uh, given by uh, BSc third year students or I have said that BSc final year students are also eligible to give gate exam there are many students have said that sir might you might have misunderstood the, the announcement and all but yeah as the announcement said it is clearly mentioned now over here that a candidate who is currently studying in third or higher year of any undergraduate degree program okay uh, or has already completed any government approved degree program in engineering technology uh, architecture or sciences so that means even a bsc student who is doing bsc uh, in the science okay that means in bsc we don't have or even if he is doing uh, honors okay so if he is in the final year of his uh, bachelor's or if he has completed his bachelor's or he is in the first year of master's or he is in the final year of the master's or if he has completed master's so these all students are now eligible for uh, this particular exam okay for applying for the gate exam okay remember this in the previous video many of you have asked that whether there is any age limit or not so there is no age limit for your gate exam so any person of any age is el eligible for this exam 
Okay, applications will be accepted online through Gate 2021 website, uh, and the link on the website will be given to you guys. Uh, the links and other things will be uh, given in, down in the description of this video, so you can check that out. Uh, this PDF is also available in the in the description of this video. Okay, so the link for the PDF is available in the in the description of this video. So you can check that out. Okay. Uh, the next thing is gate 2021 scorecard this is something which i guess you all might be interested in knowing that gate 2021 is scorecard if you qualify if you get a scorecard so up till how much time it is going to be valid so that is going to be valid up till three years okay so gate 2021 is scorecard is going to be valid for the three years further after uh, qualifying this exam now this is something very important that depending upon the covid 19 situation the schedule of the gate exam may change and uh, due to COVID-19 related international travel restriction examination at the international center may be dropped. So this year there is no uh, international gate which is going to be conducted. If situation is not conducive by the end of November 2020. So that's what they have said that if by the end of November they won't be having any uh, kind of situation that they can conduct exam for the international students. So this is not going to be there for international students. Okay, this point is only for the international students not for the Indian students okay so this is for international students okay so the details and the other things are available on the official website the website is gate.itb.ac.in so you can check that out organizing institute as I already told you is IIT Bombay Pakistan the next few points uh, which you already know that the exam pattern or the exam mode is CBT mode which have been already like you have already been giving gate exams since long with this mode uh, duration of the exam is three years the number of exams or the number of subjects are not 27 section include general aptitude and the candidate selected subject so the subject which you have selected will be the section like which will, will be there in the section so a chemistry student will have general aptitude plus chemistry portions in that types of portions have been included you have now mcq you have now msq and you also have numerical answer type okay so this is very important that you have MSQ type question. Now, uh, one thing which I wanted to address about MSQ exams or MSQ question is that they uh, do not have any negative marking. Okay, so there is no negative marking for this. Okay, so there is no negative marking. But one more thing which is over here is that uh, if you have like if there is option A, B, C, and D, and let's say the correct options are A, B, and C all, but you have just selected two options A and B. So in that case that will be considered as a wrong answer for you okay so this thing uh, has to be made very clear although i'll make a separate video on that i'll be explaining all these things how to approach msq questions because this is very important and those students who have been practicing for gate uh, sorry for jam okay those who have been practicing for jam uh, for them this might be easy because they have been practicing for msq type questions but for gate student uh, this is something new right you have never been giving this type of question even in the net right so those who have given jam for them it's it's something which is common for those who have never given jam exam they have never given msq question this is going to be something challenging okay i'll be talking about these things in a separate video where i'll be discussing about all these things okay the rest of the things are like that only overall questions will be 65 which was earlier also same number of questions have not been changed so it is 65 itself uh, you know that you have for chemistry cy is the code for chemistry so you have 15 marks for the general aptitude portion, you have 85 marks. For the subject portions, overall it is 100 marks exam. Okay, uh, marking scheme is that all the portions will be of one mark and two marks. It was earlier also, so there is no change in the marking scheme. The only change till now which we have seen is in the eligibility criteria, uh, and the second thing is regarding the um, regarding the MSQ type portion. Okay, so two changes is what we have addressed till now. The third thing also we'll see very soon so this is again the same thing is given like how many questions and how many marks so the arrangement or the marks distribution is given rest of the things are like uh, brochure and other things so we'll not be talking about uh, so content and other things are there we'll not be talking about that so clearly we'll directly go to the important point the next important point over here uh, um, so yeah this is something which is important uh, you can see over here that the important dates related to gate 2021 uh, the application process is going to start from 14th of november that is from monday and it is going to end on 30th of september uh, that is on wednesday so we have 15 days to apply for the exam uh, remember that you can also apply later than that also one week more extra have been given to you to apply for that 
but for that you have to pay a late fees okay so make sure that you apply within this time tenure so that you can save some of your money you don't have to pay the late fees okay uh, admit card will be available online on the application portal on your 8th of january so from 8th of january or basically on your 8th of january your admit card will be available online on the official website uh, rest of the things are like when is your gate exam is being scheduled so tentatively based upon the covid situation and all uh, this might change but up till now uh, this is what the date has been scheduled okay uh, you have these dates you have the timing of the exams so forenoon session and the afternoon session so this might change based upon the covid situation in the country all right announcement of the result will be done online on the application portal uh, on your 22nd of march so everything uh, if everything works well if everything goes with the schedule your exam will be done on these tentative dates and uh, your result will be published on 22nd of march so these were certain very important points uh, for your exam so you should make sure uh, that you apply within this particular time period. Uh, rest of the details are like uh, the new paper and all yeah one more thing which i wanted to address over here is that uh, you are applying under chemistry portion right you are applying you are going to apply for chemistry okay, one more thing uh, before going into that that over here so one more thing which is over here is that for bsc students is again given that bachelor's degree in any branch of science arts or commerce that is a three year program that's what you need in order to be eligible for that so currently in the third year of already or already completed so if you are in the third year or if you have already completed your bsc you can apply for gate exam okay that's what is again mentioned over here, okay so one more thing which i was telling you while scrolling is that uh, you have to be very careful with the code okay the code for chemistry cy now many times every year i used to get this comment from the students that by mistake they have selected ch as the uh, as the code and uh, that's the blunder which they have done so uh, make sure that you are not doing this mistake okay ch is for chemical engineering that is totally different uh, we uh, the chemistry students those who have done masters those who have done uh, like those who are doing msc those who have done bsc for them this cy or the chemistry is there okay gate cy gate chemistry is for you okay fine the next uh, important thing is regarding uh, yeah this is what i wanted to tell you that a chemistry student uh, who is eligible for cy who is eligible for giving exam in the under the chemistry category is also eligible to give exam for chemical engineering and life sciences okay so ch is the code for chemical engineering and xl is the code for life sciences so uh, apart from chemistry he is he or she can apply for one more subject uh, for the gate exam if he is willing to so either uh, life sciences or chemical engineering based upon like any two of them okay so it, it is his or her choice if he or she wants to uh, he can go but uh, yeah that's what it is it, it is totally a individual's choice okay so that's what it is so he is now eligible to apply for these subjects as well apart from chemistry for the uh gate gate exam okay so this has been made possible because now gate is being conducted on multiple days so uh, different exams have been conducted on different dates so that's why it is now possible to give exams simultaneously right so that's what it is okay so i guess these were some important points regarding gate exam one more and the last important thing is about your photograph okay so the photograph which you have to apply okay remember that this time they have made it very sure that you have to apply or you have to put a photograph which should be colored and which should have a white background so make sure in the csr net if you have made this mistake you have not uploaded a non white uh, non white background photograph and csr has accepted at the end but gate has already made sure that when you are uploading photograph it should have a white background okay so make sure when you are uploading your photograph it should have a white background okay that is very important uh rest of the details are over here you can read it out i'll be giving you all uh, this pdf in the description of this video so you can just download okay so these are the different examples which are given to you that which are will be acceptable which won't be acceptable so there are a lot of things uh which is over here it's a complete 165 pages brochure 
uh, you can read out the important points but yeah these were certain changes and certain points which are needed to be addressed okay which actually are of concern of for a particular student i was talking about the change in the syllabus so let me tell you about that also so here is the syllabus for chemistry you can see that you have different sections over here section 1 is physical chemistry section uh, over here then you have uh, in organic chemistry section and you have organic chemistry section so now the syllabus has been given in a more detailed way so these blue topics are some of the new topics which have been included actually they are not new they have been just taken out from the broad like earlier they have just given quantum mechanics now they have taken out topics from the quantum mechanics and they have explained it okay so these are certain new topics which they have said the red ones are actually the new ones which are added like your linear combination of atomic orbital is something which is added newly uh, then you have lcao mo theory then you have molecular orbital theory so these things have been included in the physical chemistry okay apart from that so you can see them right uh, bronner emmet teller isotherm or so bet isotherm it has been clearly mentioned now that that is also now in your syllabus so uh, i'll be making a video where i'll explain all these topics okay i'll be explaining you all these top topics how to approach or how to prepare them actually there is nothing new okay i have i have read these topics and i have seen that uh, there is not nothing like that has been like that has been introduced out of the box it's all the topics which you have already studied it's just like they have now enhanced it or they have just now explained all the topics okay they have just mentioned each and every terms also that this 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 term can also be asked in the exam so that's what it has been done and there is nothing new over here okay nothing has been taken out so the syllabus is same you can say just few more topics they have highlighted that okay now you have to prepare for this topic as well okay so i'll be making a separate video on this i'll be explaining about all these things in that this was just a quick video just to tell you that what are the new changes and in the gate exam just to make sure that you all are prepared for your upcoming gate exam if you are preparing for that uh, just make sure that you follow up all these changes uh, so at the end of this video i'll just summarize few major changes first one the eligibility criteria has been changed now bsc third year student can also apply for this second thing is that uh, now you have msq type of questions also which is a very very big update so msq type questions have been also included in your uh, in the cell, in the exam pattern uh, the third thing is that uh, you also have now option to apply apart from chemistry you can also give chemical engineering or life sciences gate exam along with that okay and the fourth one is change in the syllabus so these are four very important points regarding gate 2021 so i hope this particular video was helpful to you you guys understood it well you have any doubt you want to ask you want to share anything you can share that out in the comment sections below you want to share any uh, like opinion of yours what do you think about this particular brochure this particular change or this particular new addition or the pattern change or the syllabus change if you want to address them you want to discuss anything the comment section is open for you so thank you so much for watching this video guys thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next video i'll be explaining all these things in our in upcoming video all right so that's all from my side for this and thank you so much for watching i hope that this video will help you in your preparation and see you in my next video have a great day bye bye